Councillor Small, welcome to Green Bank. Great to be here. Thank you. Um, Councillor Small, can you tell me why did you want to become a councillor? Oh, it's a long time ago now. I've been a councillor, this is my 10th year as a, as a councillor. Um, I've been a member of the Labour Party for a lot longer than that and I saw the work the councillors do and I think you, know, you can make a difference, a positive difference on people's lives in a way that you can't with um, any other job in politics. I think most decisions um, that are made that affect people and affect their communities are made by councils, are made you know, very close to home and I think you know, I wanted to um, you know, be part of that and to be able to um, you know, change decisions and change the way um, you know, communities in Liverpool were. What is your job on the council? I do two roles really mm -hmm. on the council. I'm elected um, to represent a ward and the ward I represent is Central Ward which covers the city centre, um, Kensington Fields and, and some of the surrounding areas. So I represent about 13,500 people um, who live in that ward. So I'll deal with any issues that they've got with things like housing, um, things like council tax, environmental issues, um, anti-social behaviour. They, you know, some of the some of the big issues that, that come into my post back. I also sit on the mayor's cabinet, um, so we've got an elected, a directly elected mayor in Liverpool, um, who has a cabinet of um, of, of eight other councillors, and, and we're sort of the decision making body of the council, sort of on a on a day to day basis. And my role on there is with employment, enterprise, and skills. So. I'm involved very heavily with um, adult learning service, um, with the Liverpool New Work Service, which is our in-house employment service, looking around the skills budget, um, you know, so you know, what we do with um, 16 to 19 year olds in the city, the skills budget comes through the city council and we've got a, a commissioning role on that. And then also around enterprise, so I sit on the board of Liverpool Vision, which is the, the city's um, enterprise agency, business agency, um, looking around the economic growth, looking about you know internationalisation, how we help companies um, go out into the global marketplace, how we help people set up um, businesses, startups, but also around supporting existing businesses within Liverpool, how we make them more competitive, how we help them and um, to to create more jobs. So. It's a very diverse role, of, well, very diverse roles with, with the two that I do. No days um, the same. Um, at the moment, I've been spending a lot of time around adult learning, and this is why I've come out today into to, to Green Bank to see some of the work that you're doing around adult and community learning. And I think you know, that's really important in the city that you know we, we, we help people um, who get basic skills, English, maths, IT, the sort of skills that you know in the modern um, workplace you, you just you know you, you're just going to be excluded unless you've got those skills that you know, I believe passionately that you know we've got to get you know everyone to have the skills and um, to get into the workplace and to do what they want with their lives and empower them to do that. Can you tell me what um, can investments that you're bringing to Liverpool? What will they mean to Liverpool and particularly to students here at Green Bank? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you know, we, we need more jobs in, in Liverpool. Um, you know, if you look at the employment rate, if you look at you know, the percentage of working age people who are, who are in jobs in Liverpool, it's about 10% lower than the national average. So we need to bring more jobs in, into the city. Um, you know, if you look at some of the growth areas that we've got in the visitor economy with tourism, you know, all the new hotels that are coming online you're looking at um, you know, some, some of the jobs around that you know, there's a huge number of jobs in there and I think you know, it's important that we get people, particularly young people um, with the right skills for those jobs but it's not just in you know, a sector like tourism it's things like logistics and super port and um, if you look at what's happening with, with Liverpool too with, with the port of Liverpool Liverpool's you know, going to see a big expansion um, of, its, of its port services. So there'll be a knock-on effect on jobs in, in, in haulage, in, in support services. Um, and again, that's going to create lots of, lots of new opportunities for people. So what we need to do, and, and we'll have failed if we don't do it, it's not just about bringing the jobs and bringing the investment and bringing the companies into Liverpool. It's also making sure that 
our citizens have got the right skills and um, can progress so that they can take advantage of those jobs. If all we do is bring the jobs to Liverpool and we don't link that in with the citizens and we give people the right skills that they need or help people to get the right skills, then you know, we're not going to make the kind of impact that we need to make from those new jobs. Thank you very much okay, indeed. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Liam.